Hi, I'm Bethany, and I run WorkAtHomeFAQ.com, where I answer your questions about working from home, self-employment, and avoiding scams. So today on Fraud Friday, we are answering the question, is Rexair, also known as Rainbow, a scam? Do, do, do. Dear Wafak, Work at Home FAQ, someone told me that you used to sell rainbow vacuums. I've been thinking about doing it, but is Rexair a scam? Is it legitimate? What was your experience? Why, yes, I did sell rainbow vacuums. I mean, technically, I sold a rainbow vacuum. It was only one, but that still counts. Doesn't it count? I think it counts. Anyway, so Rexair is the name of the company that manufactures the rainbow vacuum cleaner. And if you're not familiar with rainbow, I'll show you a little grainy picture of my rainbow in the cute. Um, it is a water filtration vacuum cleaner. Of course, people get upset that you call it a vacuum cleaner because it's a home cleaning system, but whatever. It's a vacuum cleaner, except it uses water instead of filters or a canister to clean out the junk. Now, that's what makes rainbows so effective. If you have lots of hair, if you have pets, if you have allergies, you know, dust mites and all of that. Um, rainbow's really good because when you have a vacuum that uses filters, filters have holes. Holes, uh, stuff gets through the holes or it gets trapped in the holes and then everything kind of clogs up. Whereas with Rainbow, a water filtration system, all the dirt and the gunk and the little uh, dust mites, they all drowned in the water. Ah, it's very exciting. So when you're done with it, you can just toss it down the toilet or take it back outside if you have yards, <laughs> you know, you can just put it out there. It's all sorts of yummy compost water. Don't put it down your sink. It will clog your sink. Just don't do that. So rainbows, obviously, I love them. I think they are awesome. So some of the cool things about uh, rainbows and selling rainbows and working with Rexair is that there is no cost to start. This is a direct sales company. So you go and you work with them. You work with individuals. It's a uh, person-to-person selling as opposed to going into a business and selling vacuums or, you know, getting them into Bed Bath & Beyond. That's not how this works. It's person-to-person -person selling. Now, usually with direct sales companies, there's some kind of startup cost. But with Rainbow, at least when I did it, there wasn't any. And it is an amazing product. I mean, I am an evangelist. I love the Rainbow. I think it is awesome. And of course, you get a great education in sales. At least I did. Um, it really depends on the home office that you're with because, of course, you have distributors and then you would kind of work with a distributor to sell the rainbow. Um, the group that I worked with, they were amazing. They did a lot of education with me. I learned a lot about sales and I, I love the time that I had working with uh, rainbow. It was, it was great. Now, the not so good things are, uh, of course, because this is an amazing product, it is a hella expensive product. Back when I was selling it, it was about $2,000 per vacuum. And yes, I know it's a home cleaning system. It's not a vacuum, whatever. $2,000, that was a lot. I have been told now it is up to $3,000. That's a hard sell, and because of that, I mean, you can't put these machines in Bed Bath & Beyond because people are just going to walk by them, look at the price tag, and be like, uh, no thank you. That's why you need to do in-home sales. You actually need to go into the home, demonstrate the product, see how amazing and awesome and wonderful it is, and that really gets people to buy it because, again, it's a great product. But because you have to do in-home sales, companies or distribution centers, whatever you want to call them, um, they tend to have dubious marketing techniques. So for me, when I was starting, of course, they said, first, you have to start with your friends and family. Well, at the time, I was a broke puppeteer. All of my friends were broke artists. They didn't have any money. So I was like demonstrating to them and nothing happened because who the hell had $2,000 to buy a rainbow vacuum cleaner? So that didn't really work for me. So talking to my leads and, you know, all the people in the organization, uh, they then put us in a, um, a lead generation program where we would go around expensive neighborhoods and register people to win a free vacation. Yeah. And of course, shocking everyone won the free vacation. But in order to claim the free vacation, you had to sit through an hour presentation of the rainbow vacuum cleaner. 
that did not make me feel warm and fuzzy. I thought that was kind of icky. Now, maybe at this point they have changed their marketing techniques. And of course, again, it depends on which which organization you're with under the Rexire umbrella. Um, I worked with them in Seattle and then in Detroit. Um, they were a little bit different, but still the marketing methods weren't great. And of course, now there's competition. So there's another vacuum cleaner called the I don't know how to say it. I think it's Serena, Serena, something like that, which is also a water trap vacuum cleaner. Now I haven't used it, I haven't seen it, but I was researching alternatives to rainbow because there must be some out there at this point, some kind of water trap vacuum and they exist. Now the Serena or Serena, not sure, um, that retails for about 900 and you can get a refurbished one for 600. The benefits of that is that you would get those through um, sewing vac places like uh, vacuum cleaner repair shops, uh, sewing machine repair, uh, sewing machine repair shops. Ooh, that is a tongue twister. Um, you, you can buy this machine through them and they would be able to fix it. Whereas with Rainbow, you have to find a distributor. You have to, you know, have them come to your home. If it breaks, you have to find someone to fix it. And, and that can be kind of hard. So at this point, the competition, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I have comments because I have had a, a blog on this, um, on this Rexair Rainbow extravaganza, and people commented, "Yes, Rainbow is a scam." No, I love Rainbow. It's awesome. I've been with them for twenty some odd years. So you know, hit or miss. Who knows? Um, if you have an inkling for sales, if you like the direct sale industry. I personally would recommend a different company because again, it's a really expensive product. You're gonna have to find leads. You're gonna have to go into people's homes during COVID. I don't know how smart that is. Um, and I'm not sure what the commission is at this point. Um, in my time, it was $2,000 and we made 300 per sale. But again, that could be different just depending on where you are, um, depending on your, your distribution center. But if you like the concept of this type of stuff, maybe there's another company that's a better fit for you. Because I just don't know that people are buying $3,000 vacuum cleaners in their home during a pandemic. I just don't see that happening. But I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, go ahead, comment down below, let me know. And of course, if you have any other questions about working from home, self-employment, avoiding scams, or hey, direct sales companies, come on over to workathomefaq.com slash ask. And come over to workathomefaq.com slash learn if you want links to the books that I have available, the training programs, the online classes, all that fun stuff. Again, my name is Bethany. I do not know everything, but I do know a lot of things, and I'm happy to help you out. Don't forget to follow, like, share, and subscribe. I am on the Facebook, the LinkedIn, the Twitter, the YouTube, the Instagram, the Pinterest, and whatever will come next. Thanks a lot for stopping by. I'll see you next time.